Hey, this is Lady, and I'm back with another video. Today, I want to ask the question, where do you find good books to read? I know we have the wonderful booktubers on here that give us good recommendations, but there is there a different place that you use to find good books? Today, I want to share with you a good place that through the years that I have found that always work for me. So each month, I read Essence Magazine. Essence Magazine has an editor named Patrick Henry Bass, and each month he puts what's called Patrick Picks. Books that he's recently read and want to recommend to, you know, the Essence audience. Through the years, I've always read Essence Magazine, and that has been one of my favorite sections of the magazine because I can tell you, I've never went wrong with any book that I've chosen from his picks. He always picks some good books. So the May issue had a lot of good books you know to pick from like I said and I chose two of those books the first one I chose to read and I'll probably read both of these books within the next two months or so well probably next month try to get to them in July mm, no it's already 18 maybe not but I'll probably get to these books pretty soon the first one here is called Finding Samuel Lowe and it's by Paula Williams Madison. This one just tickled my fancy because I'm like, she is of Jamaican Chinese descent. Okay. Okay. So in this book, it's a memoir and it's about a lady who traces her history back to China. And you won't believe from the reading of reviews how far back she's able to trace her history. But it all started when she's trying to look for her grandfather, who is a Chinese man who lived in Jamaica in the 1920s. And he was with her grandmother. I believe they were, you know, in a relationship together and they had a child. Now that child has a child and she is trying to trace the family history. During her search, she goes from Jamaica to China to Harlem, I believe Toronto. So I'm just very interested in getting into this book. Hopefully it'll be a good read. And I'll the try to insert a clip is Matt Johnson's Loving Day. This one also has a um, interracial um, theme in it where the author Matt Johnson I believe he has a lot in common with the character in the book the character is um, biracial and he is his father is Irish American and his mother is African American well his father passes the mother dies several years prior but when his father dies he inherits a mansion it's a rundown mansion in the middle of the ghetto in Philadelphia he goes home to take care of business and while back home he finds out that he has a daughter that is I think she's a teenager now and she identifies herself as a white Jewish girl he because he looks more um, black than he does white he identifies himself as a black man so this book is supposed to talk about how they get together in their relationship as he, you know, teach her about his culture. I think both of these good books is a great book to read, especially during this time period in our history. I think it both of them show how we're all interconnected. An Irish American, an African American, a Jamaican woman, a Chinese man. You know, we're all connected in some way. So I thought those books would be good. Patrick, he's done it again with his picks. And I'll be glad to review either one of those books if anybody wants me to after I've read so, them. The question I have for you, is there any interesting places that you, you know, find your recommendations? Do you use um, your Goodreads recommendations a lot? Or do you use Amazon for your re recommendations for good books? I can't wait to get into these books. They all, both should be really good reads. Make sure to let me know where you're reading, what you're reading, and where you found the recommendation to read that book. So, again, this is Lady. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.